Hello students, now we are going to look at the algorithm to count the number of bits in an integer. Okay, so if you are given a positive integer, say n, you want to find how many bits are needed to represent that integer. Okay. Um, now by positive integer, we mean n equals 1 or above. So n equals 0, we don't consider it as a positive integer in this case. Alright, so if n equals 1, we know that we just need one bit, which is bit 1 and we can return uh, 1. That's the number of bits needed to represent uh, 1. If n equals above 1, right, so we need to really go through this binary approach of dividing n by 2 plus 1. So let me try to justify why we do like this here. So let's do this uh, thing. So if integer 1 we represent in binary as 1, for 2 we represent as 1, 0, for 3 it is 1, 1, 4 is 1, 0, 0, 5 is 1, 0, 1, 6 is 1, 1, 0, 7 is 1, 1, 1, 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 9 is this and so on, up to 15 is all four ones. then 16 is 1 followed by 4 zeros, so on up to 31 you have 5 ones. then 32 is 1 followed by 5 zeros. go to 63 you have 6 ones and so on. So if you count the number of bits, you can say this is one bit, and then you will have here two bits, and then you have here three bits, and then you have here four bits, and then you have here five bits and you have here six bits and so on right so <coughs> uh, so the number of bits you see here is basically in uh, covering so you have two integers or one integer to start with meaning one bit then two integers requiring two bits then four integers requiring three bits then really eight integers requiring four bits then 16 integers requiring 5 bits then 32 integers requiring 6 bits then this can go up to 127 so really 64 integers requiring 7 bits right so this is what I'm trying to capture using uh, recurrence so the number of integers so basically that can be covered with k bits okay so the number of integers that can be represented using k bits is going to be what? With 1 bit you can represent 1 integer, 2 bits you can represent 2 integers, 3 bits 4, 4 bits 8, 5 bits 32 and so on. So can we say something like this, 2 to the power k minus 1 minus this is what uh, is the exponent, right? So the number of integers that can be covered with k bits is going to be 2 rise to, okay, make sure it's an exponent, 2 rise to k minus 1. Okay, so the number of integers that can be represented using k bits is going to be 2 rise to k minus 1 and you can check on this because if for example we have k is 1 right if k is 1 2 to the power 1 minus 1 is 0 that is 2 to the power 0 is 1 so 1 using 1 bit you can represent 1 integer if k is 2 2 to the power, to the power 2 minus 1 is 2 to the power 1 which is 2 so it's 2 bits you can represent 2 integers then if k is 3 2 to the power 3 minus 1 is 2 to the power 2 so using 3 bits you can represent 4 integers and so on right so k is 1 implies 2 to the power let me just use a arrow symbol it's going to be 1 k is 2 that implies 2 to the rise to 2 minus 1 that is going to be 2 and so on right k is 3 <coughs> implies uh, 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 which is going to be 4 and so on okay now
um, so this is what we want to do so how many the number of bits increases by one right so you see that so the number of bits needed to cover right if you can cover if you can cover these many integers with right 2 to the power k minus 1 integers with k bits so the number of bits if you can cover 2 to the power k minus 1 integers with k bits the number of bits needed to cover right 2 to the power k integers is going to be the number of bits needed to cover uh, let me just put this plus one so I can put it over here the number of bits needed to cover 2 to the power k minus 1 integers plus 1 so the number of bits needed to cover 2 to the power k integers is going to be the number of bits needed to cover 2 to the power k minus 1 integers plus a 1 so this is what is the recurrence Okay. clear because it's not anymore a particular integer because all this belong to one group these eight integers belong to one group these 16 integers belong to one group this 32 integers belong to one group these 64 integers belong to one group with respect to what the number of bits needed to represent them it's the same number of bits needed to represent each of these groups so the number of bits needed to cover the next largest next level group right so if we can cover k to the power uh, sorry, 2 to the power k minus 1 integers with certain bits the next level group will be integers with 2 to the power k in, um, uh, integers that can be covered with uh, uh, the number of uh, basically 2 to the power k integers right it's increasing it's like this is like what 1 2 4 8 16 32 so the size of the group increases by a factor of 2 right one group of one integer group of two integers group of three four integers group of eight integers group of 16 group of 32 group of 64 group of 128 and so on so the group size is uh, doubled right so that's what i captured here the number, number of bits needed to cover to the power k integers that's one group is the number of bits needed to cover the next lowest le next level lower to that which is to the power k minus one integer group plus one more bit as you see here it is one two three four five six seven and so on all right so now all we have to do is just solve this recurrence okay so this is going to be like you can call i think i use a symbol what a so we can say this a to the power that's what i have here a to the power a of two to the power k is a of two to the power k minus one plus one for k greater than zero because you start with just um, because if a, 2 rise to 0 is 0 because you don't need to do any addition for this for this case All right so you basically need to do addition starting from here All right so if you if your group is of size 1 you know that you just need one bit just one but if your group is of size more than one so that's why it's k greater than zero which means k could be one so two rise to one is two so the number of bits needed to cover this group of size two of two integers is what is that is being captured here two rise to k minus one which is the number of bits needed to represent a group of size one integer because k minus one is one right uh, sorry k minus one is zero right if k is one k minus one is zero so two rise to zero is one so the number of bits needed to represent this group of size 1 integer which is 1 bit but you don't need to do any addition for that for a group of size 1 integer just 1 bit is sufficient that's a basic condition so don't no addition so that's why a of 2 rise to 0 is a 0 so then we go from there the number of bits needed to represent a group of size 2 integers is given by 1 more than the number of integers needed to represent group of size 1 then number of integers need number of bits need to represent a uh, group of size 4 is one more than the number of bits need to represent group of size 2 
the number of bits needed to represent a group of size 8, which is this, is one more than the number of bits needed to represent a group of size 4, and so on. So that's where this plus 1 comes. Okay. So how would you solve this? Just say what? We did this before, right? Put n equals 2 to the k. That's what we have here, right? That's what that's what we led to this recursion, right? So solve this. 2 to the power k minus 1 and so on. Um, replace this 2 to the power k as 2 to the power k minus, uh, sorry, this part 2 to the power k minus 1 is 8 to the power 2 minus k minus 2 plus 1 like we did this. And then this is, so this plus 1 comes here, so 2k minus plus 2. Then this is going to be, this part is going to be a of 2 to the k minus 3 plus 1, then this plus 2. So it is a of 2 to the k minus 3 plus a 3. So you can keep on going a of 2 to the power k minus k plus k. That's going to be, this is a of 2 rise to 0, which is 0 plus k, and that is log n. So it is set of log n, right? Because that was our initial assumption. So this is the recursion, you see that this is another way to look at it. Actually, this is what you should say in terms of n because the number of bits you represent a group of size n is the number of bits you represent everything within that group of size n over 2 because you take a flow, a uh, seal, right? A seal which will involve basically all these integers 8 through 15 or 4 to 7. So that's why we take, for example, if you want to represent n is 8, let's do that. If n is 8, Okay, n over 2 is going to be 4, but if n is say 15, right, if you take a floor of n over 2, that's going to be floor of 15 over 2, that's going to, uh, that's going to be 7 point, um, floor of 15 over 2 is 7.5, floor is 7. So you see here, uh, if n is 8, n over 2 the floor of it you can still say the floor of it is going to be 4 and if n is 15 the floor of n over 2 is 7 right so everything in this range can be covered now with this range you see that similarly 16 to 31 if you take the floor and all these things you will get 8 through 15 so as i said the size of the grouping doubles that's what is captured with this recursion and we solve this by setting what n equals 2 rise to k okay and that's what i did for here okay